Good day, students. How are you today? Welcome to a new day of discovering and learning new lesson. Today, I will discuss to you the Module 4 of Quarter 3 in Grade 8 Science entitled Phase Changes in Matter. In this video, you will learn about the different phase changes that occur in matter. These are the objectives for today's lesson. You are expected to, number one, identify the different phase changes in matter. Second, explain the different phase changes in terms of the arrangement of atoms and molecules. Before we will start, let's have a review. In our previous lesson, we discussed about the evidences that show that all particles of matter are moving. And these evidences were the experimentation or studies studied by Robert Brown and Albert Einstein. At first, it was Robert Brown who discovered that pollen particles placed in water are moving in a constant random motion. But Robert Brown did not know what is the cause of the pollen to move in a random motion. Later, Albert Einstein discovered that the cause of the pollen random motion is the collision of the indivisible water particles with pollen. This motion was named to Robert Brown because he was the first one to discover the motion. And it is known as the Brownian motion today. Also, we have to remember that Brownian motion depends on the size, the mass, the momentum, and the viscosity of the particles. Let's proceed. One of the important physical properties of matter is the phase or the state of matter. These are common states of matter we observe in our everyday life, the solid, liquid, and gas. But some scientists discovered that we can also find the fourth state of matter, and that is the plasma. Plasma is sometimes referred to us as the fourth state of matter, while it's similar to a gas, but its electron or negatively charged particles are free in a cloud rather than attached to individual atoms. Plasma is observed in a special condition such as the ones found in the sun and in the fluorescent lamp. Plasma, like a gas, a plasma lacks a defined shape or volume. However, the particles of plasma are electrically charged and are separated by vast difference. Examples of plasma include lightning and the aurora. The fifth state of matter is the Bose-Einstein condensate. A Bose-Einstein condensate may be called as the fifth state of matter. In a Bose-Einstein condensate, the particles of matter stop behaving as individual and may be described with a single wave function. And the sixth state of matter is the firm ionic condensate. Seven is the degenerate matter. Eight, drop liton and others. Substance can exist in any of these states. Like water, it's a compound that can be a liquid, solid, or a gas form. The term state or phase are often used interchangeably sometimes. For the most part, this is fine. But I think we need to know their differences. I want to check if you really know this by playing a game. This is called as the fact or a bluff. Just click a word fact if you think that the statement is true or correct. And bluff if you think the statement is false or incorrect. Are you ready? Let's play a game. 
Question number one. What is the difference between the state and phase? State is a form of matter at a given temperature and pressure. While phase is the form of matter that has a uniform chemical and physical properties. Answer right now. If your answer is fact, then you're correct. Congratulations. And if your answer is bluff, then try again. Question number two. Phase may have several phases, while state have one phase. State may or may not have a uniform properties. State can have a several phases. Phase has a uniform properties. Phase have only one phase. Answer now. Okay, correct answer is bluff. This is because state may or may not have a uniform properties and can have a several phases. While phase has a uniform properties and have only one phase. Why is this so? This is the example. An example is a mixture of milk and oil. When we say state, the state of this mixture is a liquid state. Well, when we say phase, it contains two different liquid phases. One of that is milk having a uniform physical and chemical properties. And second liquid phase is the oil having the same or uniform physical and chemical properties. Matter can change phases when energy is added or removed from the system. Usually, this energy results from the changes in temperature or pressure. When matter changes its state, it undergoes a phase change. Heat plays an important role in converting one state of matter to another. Adding heat or taking off heat brings in changed state of matter. Okay, try to observe the diagram. This diagram shows the phase changes in water. The diagram shows the six changes. First is evaporation, when a liquid turns into gas. Condensation, when gas turns into liquid. Solidification or freezing, if liquid turns into solid. Deposition, when gas turns into solid. And sublimation, when solid changes into gas. Okay, let's start with number one phase change. One of the phase changes is evaporation. That is the transition of liquid phase to gas phase. In this process, the requirement is increasing or adding heat or energy. So what happened to the molecules? The molecules break its band and spread out freely and moving constantly. Evaporation is a process by which the matter undergoes a spontaneous transition from liquid phase to gas phase. In this process, heat is required. The molecules of liquid with the addition of heat creates a water vapor where gas molecules spread out freely and moving constantly. One of the examples of evaporation is when water evaporates, it changes from liquid state to gas state. But still, 
water. Another example is when we boil water, we observe that the volume of water decreases because water molecule turns into water vapor and escape from the water. Another phase change is freezing or solidification. This is the transition from liquid phase to solid phase. The requirement is we have to remove the heat or decreasing heat or energy. Removing heat makes enough attractive forces between molecules, draw the molecules close together, and the liquid freezes to a solid. When a liquid is cooled, the average energy of the molecule decreases. At some point, the amount of heat removed is a great enough that the attractive forces between molecules draw the molecule closer together and the liquid freezes to a solid. Example of freezing are making the sweetened cream into ice cream and making liquid water into ice cubes or ice. Another phase change is melting. This is the transition from solid phase to liquid phase. The requirement is adding heat. This process occurs when there is an increase in heat or energy. Increasing in heat makes the enough attractive force to break and the molecules move or spread out forming into a liquid phase. An example of melting is ice cube melt into water. Another one is a butter melt. The other one is chocolate that melts. So from solid, it turns into liquid phase. The fourth phase change is the condensation. This is the transition from gas phase to liquid phase. The requirement is removing heat. This phase change occurs when there is a decrease in heat or energy. Decreasing heat or energy makes the molecule move closer with attractive forces of molecules forming into liquid phase. Condensation happens when molecules in a gas cool down. As the molecule lose heat, they lose energy and slow down. They move closer to other gas molecules, and finally, these molecules collect together to form a liquid. An example of condensation is when a glass of ice water forms water droplets on an outside of the glass. Another one is the formation of clouds. The fifth phase change is sublimation. This is the transition from solid phase to gas phase. The requirement is adding heat. This process occurs when there is an increase in heat or energy. So what happened to the molecules of solid is they move faster and that movement makes enough to overcome the attractions from other molecules that move freely and become a gas. The best example of sublimation is dry ice, which is a frozen form of carbon dioxide. When dry ice gets exposed to air, dry ice directly changes its phase from solid state to gaseous state, which is visible as Fab. Frozen carbon dioxide in gas state is more stable than in solid state. 
Another example of this is the naphthalene ball or moth ball. This is an effective of chasing moth away. The sixth phase change is the deposition. Deposition is the transition from gas phase to solid phase. The requirement is removing heat. This occurs when there is a decrease in heat or energy. So what happened to the molecules? The molecules of gas move slower and closer to other molecules and draw the attractive force between them, forming a solid. An example of deposition is the process by which in sub-freezing air, Water vapor changes directly to ice without first becoming a liquid. This is how frost form into the ground in other surfaces. Another example is when frost form on a leaf. Okay, this time, let's summarize everything. First, we have to remember that all matter has its particular state. Meaning, this is the original state of matter before it undergo a phase change. Second, we have to remember that all matter undergo phase changes. This is the transition of matter from one phase to another due to the alteration of temperature by adding heat or removing heat. We also discussed the six phase changes. These are melting, freezing, evaporation, sublimation, condensation, and deposition. Out of these six phase changes, we can group this into two groups. The first group is the phase changes that occur when heat is added. These are melting, evaporation, and sublimation. These changes requires heating that makes the molecules of matter move faster and move apart, causing the attractive force to break. The second division or the second group of phase change are the phase changes that occur when heat is removed. These are freezing, condensation, and deposition. These changes requires cooling or removing heat that cause or make the molecules of matter move slower and closer, forming a very strong band. This ends my video discussion. Thank you for listening. I hope you learned something from my discussion. This is Mom Debbie saying thank you and God bless you all.